Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Perplexity AI. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out other stuff for just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you start using Perplexity AI here? Well, the first thing you want to do is we first need to access the actual platform. So go ahead and open up any browser on your PC and you want to type in the following URL, which in this case is going to be perplexity.ai, the name itself. Now, this will actually redirect you to the platform itself. So the first thing they want to do here is you want to create or sign in into your account. So typically at the bottom left, you should be able to see a log in or sign up button in here. But once you're logged in, this is what you'll be uh, going to be seeing here. So we first need to discuss is Perplexity AI here free? So you could actually use Perplexity AI here for free, but the features that you'll be able to access here are going to be limited. So meaning if you want to access more features uh, within the actual platform, you'll need to have a upgrade plan for this one. But then again, you can still use the platform itself for free without paying for anything. So. Uh, how do we edit our profile first? So at the bottom left, you have your account. So whenever you click on it, you have the option to change either your current account or go incognito if you don't want to have your data tracked or uh, your searches actually being tracked. So in this case, I'm going just to use I'm going just going to use my account here. Now I want to click on the gear icon here. So this will actually redirect me to my settings. So first is we have our account tab. So the account tab actually allows us to change a few things like the appearance of Perplexity AI here. So if you want to make this light or dark theme, you could go ahead and do that. You could also change the language of the app itself. You have your account. So if you want to update your profile photo, your username, as well as your email. You also have the AI data retention here. So that allows you allows Perplexity to use your searches to improve AI models, which in this case uh, will actually improve Perplexity more. We also have Perplexity Pro here or section for pro users only. So we have a subscription here. So if you want to uh, basically get a subscription, you can go and click on learn more and it will give you the subscriptions available. But like what I said before, you could use or start using Perplexity AI without paying for anything. As you see, we have a standard plan here, which is free forever. But we also have the professional here, which is $20 a month. So you need to pay around $20 monthly. Now, in this case, with the professional plan, we have the uh, features here like unlimited quick searches, 600 pro searches per day, like for example, generating images or searching for images. We have the select your preferred AI model, upload and analyze unlimited files, visualize up to 50 answers a day, and $5 a month in API credits. So, meaning you could uh, basically access those features if you're going to get the pro mode. Like, for example, changing the AI model here and image generation model as well. Now, uh, we have the system here. Like, for example, you want to sign out or uh, sign out all your sessions if you have multiple PCs that you're using for Perplexity AI. We also have the profile section, which in this case, you should be able to introduce yourself or change a few things about yourself. You also have the API option here, but then again, you need to set up your payment method before you are able to actually use it. So this is for uh, basically for developers. Now, in this case, let's go to the top left here. Let's go to home. Now, how do we start using Perplexity AI here? Well, using it is pretty easy. So if you're familiar with ChatGPT, it works kind of similar to in that way. So meaning you could basically start or um, start asking any question here. Like for example, I could ask, what are the effects of global warming? Let's just press on enter. It's going to give me uh, different uh, searches uh, regarding the uh, prompt I've entered and it will actually show me the sources itself. So as you can see, these are the answers. So in this case, you go ahead and just read them if you want to. So for example, we have numbers that you see here on uh, the following uh, sections. Like for example, we have the economic consequences here. We have one and two. So we could actually click on that number. And it's going to actually show us where what it was actually got from. So meaning the source of the actual text that we see here. We could also press to here, which is another source for that specific section there. 
So this is actually pretty cool because, like for example, if you're doing research and you want to uh, get uh, different sources from the internet, so the great thing about Perplexity AI here is they get different sources uh, from from the internet. So it's going to search Google, different platforms, and even YouTube. So I'll be showing you a quick, uh, a really cool. Uh, trick here uh, to basically ge uh, generate uh, content or even uh, have a general idea on uh, uh, a specific uh, link. So for example, let's go ahead and uh, view a few things here since we already generated a few things. So and this, again, at the very top, you have your sources. If you want to read them or view more, or more of them, you could go ahead and do that. You can even add a checkbox in it if you want to remove that source from your prompt or your result. Now, let's go ahead and scroll down a bit. So we have the related content here. Like if you want to addition or generate additional content regarding the topic you've entered, you can actually choose one of them. Like for example, how does global warming impact wildlife and ecosystem? You can go ahead and just click on it. It's going to automatically generate some content or answers for you. Now, in this case at the very bottom, you have the share and rewrite options here. You also have these buttons here. What does they, what they do? What does they actually do? So in this case, the uh, option here, which is the copy button, it actually copies the content that you already answered that you have right now. In this case, you also have the edit query. You could change the prompt itself and uh, basically uh, change your actual answer here. Sometimes expanding the actual query can help a lot with your answers. Now, we also have the three dot icon here, which in this case, you have view sources, report this prompt uh, or your, this answer. If this does not actually satisfy or, it's or if it's actually totally wrong, you can go ahead and report that. Or you can even delete this specific section here. Now, if you want to share this to your friends, let's, you could go and click on share here. It will copy a link, which in this case, whenever they actually paste this link here, they will be able to see the answer itself on Perplexity AI, as you can see right now. Uh, we also have the option to rewrite this if you want to so for example you could choose uh how you want to rewrite like for example using cloud 3.5 so net so on a large gpt uh, 40 or cloud 3 or uh, push so you could choose your own uh engine for rewriting this one if you want so in this case as you can see at the right side we have search images search videos and even generate image so in this case you could be basically search for images uh, related to the topic so if you want to click on it you should be able to see uh different images uh different image sources here but uh, in this case you could read uh if you want to view them you could go and click on see more uh, view it if you want to so yeah so in this case you should be able to have a reference images uh, images for your um Research here if you want to. We also have the search videos or related videos for the uh, prompt that we have right now. So you could even watch them if you want to. Just click on it and you should be able to start watching that specific video. If you want to generate image you are your own image here, you need to have a pro or professional plan in order for you to do it. So yeah, using it is actually pretty easy here. So uh, we also have the discovery page here, which allows you to discover different to topics from different users or from the community itself. So if you want to read them, you could go ahead and do that. Now, we also have the library section here, which includes all your threads. And again, if you have a pro plan, they have additional features here. Like, for example, creating your own page uh, regarding a certain topic using the platform itself. So uh, what is the cool trick that I'm talking about? So in this case, I'm just going to go to youtube.com here and I actually want to actually go to our page. So let's just go and search our page here. And for example, we have a topic here. So uh, this one is pretty long. So let's go and right click on it and you want to actually uh, open this up. So let's go ahead and copy uh, the actual URL and from here, could go to uh, perplexity and even uh, have or generate a uh, shortcut or a summary of your video so in this case let's go ahead and uh, choose home here and uh, from here we could go ahead and say can you uh, summarize this and uh, from here you could just paste the actual link itself so let's just go and paste it and basically search for it and it will actually uh, start uh, summarizing the video itself if they are or if they are able to actually uh, read the video. So sometimes it might not work directly, but again, sometimes it might, it will. 
So in this case, uh, let's go ahead. So as you can see, I've entered a different uh, prompt here. So sometimes uh, the can you summarize option might not work. Specifically, you can change your own prompt here. So it just depends on how you enter your prompts. So I, ha I actually entered general ideas from the following link here. So in this case, it will get actually get the actual uh, idea for it as you can see right now. So in this case, give me a specific or uh, summarization or the main points of this video here. So this is great. Like for example, if you have like an hour long video that you want to have it summarized, but then again, it might not work every time. But again, you could go and just try it if it see if it works uh, for that specific video. But then again, it might not work for every video, especially for newer videos uh, in YouTube. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.